What is going on guys? Wiser here and I'm coming to you with One Hive Labs next Slay My Base episode. So that obviously means I'm here with my good friend Kadik. How you doing buddy? Hey man, doing great. Good to be back once yeah, again. Yeah, fantastic. We're staying on top of this, pumping out these Slay My Bases and I'm loving it. The, everyone else is loving it, getting a lot of good feedback on this stuff. So let's uh, just jump right into this one and check out the first base up on the chopping block. Now, this one, uh, the guy actually wrote quite a bit in the email um and and or oh, some really good things about this base but just some unfixable issues that we're going to point out here what uh, what exactly am i talking about Kadik? yeah exactly like uh, the previous episodes we're going to try and uh, get a quick glance at a few bases and uh, try to cover more ground in a short amount of time so let's do that um this base overall i mean the spring traps are pretty good um, the air defense is uh, pretty good. I mean, the, the wizard towers are out of range of air def defense for the most part. But there's one big glaring issue uh, we see. And, um, I mean, look at the jump from the queen towards the core. What does that do? Yep. Immediately <laughs> op opens up everything. It opens up everything. Everything that's important for a hog attack. I mean, you get both expos, you get four giant bombs. And you get the CC. It's just a bit too much. Know what I mean? So, yep. um, yeah, this base needs to be fixed. There's a couple of basic issues uh, we see. And for example, like these black bombs, keep them away from your queen. If someone is going to uh, go to loon your base, they will try to enter at the your queen. The same way. The same way. Jump yeah. here and then uh, take out this area. Hog or, or lava. Enter, uh, enter at like uh, the four o'clock section. That would be a more viable option. Mm -hmm. And then uh, jump the core still, get both expos, get this air defense as well. Uh, that leaves you uh, with two less black mines. So you don't really stand a chance against air attacks. No, I mean, doing that shattered might be a little more difficult, but um, yes, definitely, absolutely. definitely. It's, it's a the idea in this case. A standard double jump, go of a hoe, right? It's just, that's going to be it's way too, too much. Yeah. So what we would suggest for this base is to have a, a double set in this area because you can make it, uh, is that clear enough for you, uh, in this area? Because that's away from the queen. Um, you, you're forcing a difficult path through the base. I mean, yes, yeah, sure, you'd have to change up a lot of defenses, but just consider it. Yeah. And then, for example, a giant bomb over here and a giant bomb in this section. Now, if you have that, then you're basically forcing someone to come in from this angle, go all the way through the base, and have the plan for this section. And if they don't, they're going to fail. So always try to spread out your giant bombs and try to keep them away from your queen um, and maybe also the core. I mean, th this is court from any angle I come in. I will likely defuse it. Mm -hmm. So... I think those are two big issues uh, of yep. an issue. The main I thing is you want your DGB to be protected. And as well, when you have a two D a double DGB base, this can happen more often than not. One jump yep. accessing both of them. And what I find when I run into that problem, my immediate idea is, okay, well, what I should do is move one of these bombs, replace it with small bombs, and then put your other bomb elsewhere. You know That's what I'm saying? That's one like, way to fix it, but... Um, yeah, still they need to be spread out through your base. Yes, yes, obviously, yeah. So, yeah, usually that, this is the reason why we say uh, start very early in your build. I mean, start with your queen and then move on to air defenses and giant bombs. Because if you start with that, then you can already see early in the base um, that your giant bombs are going to be too close together. Yeah. So that makes for an easy fix, so you don't have to do everything um, afterwards. Beautiful. So let's go to the second base. Sounds good. Okay, there we go. Tell me when it's up. We're good to go. Okay, so this base has a very similar issue, as you can see, because one jump over there um, takes out four giant bombs. A second jump goes towards the queen. So this is a very, very clear path through the base. See what I mean? Yep. So in this case as well, for example, this giant bomb, a double set even, is there an angle from which Hawks will actually path over it. I'm going to be 
pretty harsh here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it's tough when you're setting up DGBs, but I see exactly what you're it, talking it about. Is, anything but... coming off this air defense is going to cut across, only get one of them. Yes, but even f coming from this air defense, they might split up. I mean, the distance oh. is so big. Or go back, yeah. See what you're saying. There's no touching defenses like leading no. things. Yeah. And this is two spaces in between. So coming from this angle, the the hogs will path towards the air defense and down. So you ha you pretty much have to have perfect timing because if your hogs move like this, and you have to support hogs uh, at the cannons uh, for them to actually move over. Otherwise, they go up towards the the other wizard tower. Yeah. So. This DGB in the core just needs to go, split it up, uh, or make a different uh, DGB, but then this one needs to move as well. I mean, the current issue is uh, that there's no, not many good places for two sets. I mean, two sets ideally would be in this section, for example, and over here, in, in like across the base to force decisions. Yeah. So split up the core DGB, in my opinion, or create a new spot, which means <coughs> the base. And, um, yeah, go from there. And, and what I find more often than not, when you, like, if you just look at this base in general, there's just not enough room. Like, even if you put them down in these compartments, well, that means they're, they're both going to be queen walkable. I mean, that's a very, very large compartment. But yep. what I find the core of the issue is this up here. This is a huge investment to yes, protect your queen chamber. And you're going to be left short on the back end just for space, right? For just yeah, options. I mean what you said, a queen walk in this section gets this wizard tower. So yep. it's even worse than we even talked about. But um, what, uh, what we were talking about before uh, starting it, uh, the, there's four walls over here that don't really do anything. I mean, there's nothing in there. So what are you trying to protect with those four walls? Mm -hmm. Same story goes for this section. I, I can see f two walls over there you can save easily. I mean, they're not really protecting anything, are they? Same story goes for over here. That's another two walls. So that's eight walls total. Um, and with this added wall over here, if you were to change stuff up there, you could, for example, uh, make a wall th in the core. And if you yeah. have this wall down, the every single entry becomes so much harder to do. I mean, where are you going to come from? Yeah, yeah, all right. So that's what I wanted to suggest. Also, three black mines of one air defense, that's just too much. Yes. Two black mines will pretty much kill any hound. I mean, even a level three hound will die to it. So don't clamp him up like that. And uh, also with your uh, black mines, I mean, sorry, your red bombs. Uh, this one scored. Any hound on any air defense popping will trigger it. Um, this one is likely to get popped by a hound as well. This one's pretty good. And this one is okay. I would still move it further out. Yeah. So those are the things to keep in mind. Um, overall, pretty good. Uh, keep it up, and uh, yeah, fi fix these things. And I think you're you're on a way to having a really good base. Beautiful. Let's go. Next. So up the third one. This was kind of a neat one. I like this sort of dead zone idea. I think that's uh, creative, at least. It's very creative. It's mm -hmm. it's tricky as well at the same time, though. Um, I thought overall that this was a, a pretty good base. I mean, uh, let's start with the basics, the queen. Uh, the queen is a bit centralized in this case, but that's also because of uh, there's a lot of walls invested in this section, which you're kind of making up with leaving that a dead space, yep. essentially. So um, the investment is quite big, uh, but at the same time, uh, she's well protected. There's four storages on the outside. That's generally a good number. Uh, with so many walls, you, you, could, you likely could do with one less storage. I mean, that's just an idea. Um, then your queen is going to jump. I mean, she will jump out outside. Is that an issue? Maybe if um, troops somehow get funneled in here, mm -hmm. which I think is very possible. And it will actually happen against your base, to be honest. I, I, I think, think a common attack rate off the hop would be to charge a queen in there. If you could just yeah. work out the funnel. I haven't that, looked at that, it. But. That's one example. Another thing I thought of is uh, the queen will engage once uh, troops are in the Tesla farm. So, first of all, there's a, a bomb there. And second off, the queen will jump over. So, if you jump this, you take out this wizard tower as well. And with that, DGB. 
So there's three three giant bombs gone and the queen with one jump. Now yeah. that's an issue. Yeah. If she didn't hop, that none of that would matter, right? Absolutely. So, and then again, I mean, there's two walls here. There's uh, fi uh, five walls. Yeah, there's five walls over there's, there. Even yeah, a sixth one over there. Sixth one. Seventh one. <laughs> seventh one. sticking out yeah. too, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is seven spaces, I think. Maybe eight. Is there an issue to placing this storage over there and closing it off? Yeah. I mean, that opens you up to change this giant bomb as well, for example. I mean, that's fairly close to the queen. And uh, move it to that side of the base. I mean, most likely someone is going to want to defuse your double set. So I to mention, if you picture picture a storage right here, I mean, I, I kind of understand the idea of the walls, but a storage is not only like going to make it hard to funnel anything off. You're, you're going to suck things in there. Yeah, that's a good idea also. And Absolutely. everything's going to get stuck on that storage while three Teslas pop and start roasting stuff, right? So... Yeah, that'd be a pretty good idea actually to keep the, the keep the concept alive, because uh, you could move this storage, the gold storage at the queen, you just move it one spot, remove this storage and move it over here, and that leaves you with eight more walls. Pretty yeah, much. and then kind of protects your Tesla farm on either side of it. And well, you don't even need to wall it off. I mean, you you can still close another compartment. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. What, but the Tesla farm is right in between the town hall and the storage, which is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, one thing I wanted to mention when I'm looking at the bomb still, uh, I'm not able to delete everything. That's kind of sad, but whatever. We'll work with it. Uh, all of the small bombs are in pretty awkward positions. I mean, are they really going to do anything? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not convinced think, by their positions. I think if you're going to have them on the inside, it has to be at least four or t at least two with a deep with a bomb with a gb yeah I, I think they need to be grouped to be effective yeah unless you want to force wall breaker fills which is a good option i mean in this case i don't think i would enter in this area i was most li likely coming at the south or the entry we talked about but imagine that being closed off um i think a likely entry would be at the south because of the double set so if you want to place your small bombs outside, I would suggest the bottom side. You know what I would do, actually, now that I'm looking at it? I wouldn't want to change... Oops, sorry. I wouldn't want to change this wall because it's a good good length of wall. So to fix your queen chamber, you could quite easily just move this archer tower up and wall it off there and move her up a space. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. And it'd be a lot, lot better, I think. It would be a lot better, yeah. And that's also a thing. Uh, she is likely to jump there. She might actually jump out. It's, it's a tricky call. Yeah. I don't think she will, but if if there's a wrong angle, uh, be like I mean, point, a lucky angle. 2.9 spaces, right? Yeah, it's yeah. awkward. Um, as, especially like in this angle, to, to point it out once again, uh, a golem will walk like this, like I just drew, and then walk down. And because the golem will walk down, it will walk past the queen and actually lure her out even further. Yeah. So, if there's a defense next to your queen, always check if uh, golems go straight towards your queen or walk past her. If they walk past, she will likely jump, even beyond three spaces. So, uh, air defense, let's move yep. on. Yep. Um, most wizard towers are straight in between air defenses, so that's kind of tricky. Um, I think that even this one is in range. So, to me, if I can get a cheap kill on one air defense or two air defenses with uh, the queen, I would, take, going I would go to Loon yeah. at this base. And I think that I can drop one golem over there, take this out, take these defenses out, and the air defense. Um, that would leave me a pretty easy Laloon. And after seeing it firsthand, you know, I wasn't... When, that idea was first introduced to me a ways back by yourself, actually. Um, I... Wasn't fully like I, I know wizard towers do good damage to loons, but after seeing a wiz tower next to an air defense and just envisioning the damage the wiz tower would be doing to the group of balloons coming in instead of targeting the lava hound is just crazy. Like it would have stopped the attack if the yeah. if the wizard tower was like one space <laughs> further away from the air defense. So really something to think about, guys. 
Yeah, I've seen actually one of our base in um, one of the last two wars against Red Omega or um, yeah. what was it? I, I'm not sure if it actually which one of uh, it was, but one of the mm. raids, an air attack actually got was successful because uh, even though. Uh, when you click on it, it seemed to be out of range of the air defense, but it was still able to target. Uh, Maybe it was Red at Omega because I think we're talking think about so. the same attack. Because yeah. did you? Yeah. I don't know if you watched Red at Omega's recap. Oh no, it was. Oh, it was a bully. That's it right. was a bully attack. That's I'm right. talking about, That's but it right. might. It might be as well. No. Yeah. No. There was three lava hunts with one air defense, and even though the wizard tower seemingly was out of range, it was still able to target the lava hound, and it ruined the raid. Yep. I mean, there was nothing you could do because. The loons had free, free reign, pretty much. So, let's move on towards uh, spring traps. There's only one I really don't like. That's this one. That's not going to do much. Because, uh, first of all, you're going to want to defuse the DGB. It's in between, like, three. So, um, And then again, it's a one-way spring. So, uh, hawks coming from this angle, for example, or this angle, they will never trigger it. So, I would move that. Um, three hogs is worth. Uh, I mean, to get rid of three hogs is worth it. So try to find a good spot for it. Yeah. To and to clarify, guys, you cannot have this space in between the spring trap. You can't like that air defense for it to be even remotely usable would have to be moved over one space. Um, and even then, it's a bad location because it's in between all these bombs, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And I know that this uh, seems to, uh, to be a DGB. I think that's a good idea. But uh, this arch tower already gives away that there will not be a DGB there. Yes. So if you want to fake the DGB, then this arch tower needs to move, basically. Uh, anything else you see? Uh, about the springs, not really. Um, I mean, in general, I was going to make a com oh okay. I was going to make a comment about something one like this one. That's not a bad spring, but if you, I believe if you move your wizard tower over one space to have the spring rate dead in the center of the wizard tower, that turns it into a better spring. Am I right yeah. in saying that? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, uh, in this case, imagine hawks coming in. They'll move over th to the sweeper and then down. Mm -hmm. So they will bypass it completely right now. So not only do the defenses have to be touching, guys, but it, on these angled ones, you want it on the corner of one defense and then right in the dead center of the other defense that you're trying to spring things on. So, um, you Well, know, I, as long as they're right in between. Like, th this is a good example of a good spring. I mean, uh, this cannon might ruin it right now, but uh, if the cannon isn't there, this is the perfect line. Yes. You see that? Yeah, yep. So, uh, from the outside in, that is. I mean, from, from the inside out, it's a bit trickier. But from the, the mortar down... This is a perfect example of a perfect spring. There's no way this is not going to trip three hogs. Yeah. So sure. keep in mind where the hogs will path and adjust your springs accordingly. Cool. Uh, so other traps, um, skelly traps, I guess that's all we got left. Or yeah, mines? So. Oh, there's a Air mines too. here as well, by the way. Um, yeah, this air mine, for example, is out of range of both air defenses, or at least won't trigger uh, properly. All of them are in between air defenses. I mean, just clump them up. I mean, uh, put two air mines on one air defense, make them pop one hound immediately um, to force that second hound in and uh, have defenses target balloons. That's your goal. So why spread them? That's yeah, like realistically, you're kind of, it's almost backwards. Like, you, I'd want to move both of the sets of those. And I'd probably have a double set of black ones there and a double set of black ones there. Yeah. I mean, there's a small, only a very small chance this will get Dragon Swap because there's too many storages. Even with the one storage removed, there's too many storages there and air defenses. So you'll likely not get Dragon Swap. So uh, make two groups of black mines and stick them right next to one air defense. Um, and that's, yeah, the skeleton traps. I mean, this is in a pretty good place uh, right now. If you were to drop a bomb there, you might want to change it. This one, for example, isn't going to do much, to be fair, at the top. Uh, I think you would much uh, more rather like it over there, for example, Very if this entry even. is fixed. Um, or, yeah, I'm not too sure. Th this is a tricky base for uh, spring traps. I mean, uh, skeleton traps. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
But overall, I think uh, pretty good job. There's a few things that can really improve it. Yep. And uh, I think we covered those. Definitely so. a good a good tweakable base. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's go to the last one. Sounds good. There we go. Loaded a little slower, but we are good to go now. Awesome. So our last base for today. Um, well, let's start at the beginning. The queen in her chamber. She's right up top, obviously. She will likely not be able to target out. I mean, she's quite deep in uh, in the base. So she'll be quite safe. But then there's the first question. Like, what are these two storages going to do for you? What are they protecting? Yep. Because once, realistically, once a group of Valks gets in there, or your king gets in there, they're going to the queen. And then, especially Valks, like, there's so much stuff that, like, Valks will instantly melt that queen chamber, including the queen. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Um, so, um, let's see. She has a couple of defenses. That's pretty good. She's not going to jump anywhere else. And this is something I really like, what, what we just talked about. I mean, for example, Golem's co coming in from this angle. Um, okay, the queen will target uh, right here already, but imagine them coming from a little bit different angle to, to clarify this. If a Golem were to come in from over there, and it walks in and walks down, um, it will sort of walk past, uh, yeah, uh, this is not a good example, sorry. Uh, but you can imagine this, like a Golem walking past, that will force her to jump. But because this is four spaces now, she will not jump. Yeah. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, it's not the best example after all, but I think uh, the point is clear. Yeah, so I think realistically, spaces, the only thing you'd want to do with this queen chamber is just kick these two suckers out of there. Yeah. Um, you know, spread it out a little more so obviously you don't have any holes, and I think that would be way better. I think so too. Um, anything else? This black mom and the skeleton trap, they're likely not going to do much. Yeah, definitely never want a skeleton trap. Red bombs either. I mean, the only thing time I would see is uh, if you feel yourself vulnerable to a dragon attack, then maybe have one black mine there. Other yeah, than black that, mine, but not a red bomb. Other than a red that, bomb's not going to stop them. Air traps do not belong in your queen chamber. No, I agree. They're usually mo more useful in different uh, places. And definitely, in my opinion, skelly traps never belong in your queen chamber either. I think so too. So, uh, next thing. Um, let's go to compartments. Are there any valuable jumps we can see? Or quakes? Um, I was kind of sizing up that little intersection right there. Yeah, and is this quake possible or is it too large? Too big of a section. That might actually be possible. That, that's a really close call. You would need to count those tiles. It's five and five, so... Yeah. Uh, um, that's seven tiles. Yes, it's doable. It it's, is. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is, is seven... Uh, just over seven tiles. So then so what that means is you could this come from this, this angle and basically go straight through the base. Yeah. Um, so that is an issue for sure. Yeah. So it, it it's not that obvious. I don't think many people will see it, but uh, this this line is seven tiles. So I think it's not possible. Um. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that easily fixable? I'm not. Uh, so sure. I don't know. You'd have to. You essentially have to move this wall up two spaces. That compromises your queen. To something like that, and yeah. then that's going to be trouble. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you need to play around with it. Uh, or most uh, likely. you could yeah. actually, you could wall that off on that side. Like, take that wall and move it up. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. It would help at least. Yep. Um, so, anything else about jumps? Mm, yeah, this is one entry over here, for example. Uh, you jump over here and have to double jump. I mean, this is this is jumpable. That's all four giant bombs in one line. So that's a pretty straightforward uh, entry as well. Mm -hmm. I think this would be how I would uh, this base, actually. It's funny how things, in a sense, hurt you sometimes. 
Yeah. Because because what I like about this base is I do like having some smaller twisty compartments to to not make it so that the I was just talking about this in a recap. Very I'm I'm trying to get away from this style of base building where everything's a box because this wall is perfect so you can't earthquake it or jump over it. But in the same sense coming in from that angle you just said a jump spell here means it is a perfectly clean jump straight yeah. straight across you there's no worry of your valks string or anything like that nothing like it they will even get sucked in because of these buildings touching yeah so if i were to change something over there is first of all to move this uh, cc over one spot uh separate these uh, teslas and that would already be a lot better versus uh, Valkyries. Yep. But in the same I mean, token, in the same token, I mean, you could just drop the jump like over that, and no matter what, right? They're going in the direction you want because you're next. Yeah, they're still right gonna there. move up. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. both both uh, options are very viable. Yeah. Yep. So um, I think you could consider swapping around some giant bombs. Uh, one last thing I saw about the DGB is if Hawks were to come in from the south, um, yeah, this it's a bit tricky, let, let's be fair. But um, if you're feeding Hawks from this angle first, they, they move down and you support them at the south, I think that if they go from this cannon and then up towards the sweeper, they will only touch one giant bomb. It's because of that two, two uh Because of the two space. space. Yeah. Yes. So if you were to move this uh, sweeper straight in the middle, I think it would just be fixed straight up. So, um, yeah, just move it. There's no reason not to. Yep. And overall, the giant bombs are pretty well spaced out. Um, but at the same time, this giant bomb needs to move because of the easy uh, path towards the queen. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, make some room over there. Uh, that would be a lot better of a, an area or over here, for example, in, in that area, because then they're spread out well, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it makes it harder to, to triple your base. So, um, spring traps. Let's see. This one uh, isn't perfect. This one is pretty solid. I don't even like that one there. Will, no, that one will not do much for you. Um, this one is tricky, but should probably work. And these two are uh, spot on, right if, in the middle. If anything, uh, mo take that spring trap, right? Move the Tesla back one, move the clan castle back one, and you got a perfect spot in between your Teslas for a yep. spring trap. That's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing is that it's cored so much that Valkyries will likely path over there. Yeah, you know what? It, I it's the endless struggle with base building i mean i know because <laughs> you one thing just kills another thing and um y there's you're, you're limited with space on that bottom half of your base because of yeah. your very properly sized queen chamber yep, right absolutely. it's it's just that endless it's fight. tricky but at the same time you, you can't always have a, a walkable uh a queen chamber like power bang uh, said on his recap with the uh, invicta um, he was right. Like we have, we've pretty much mastered uh, one type of uh, base, but at the same time, if you crack one base, you crack them all. So it's better to have variety in your bases, and that means compromising sometimes. Sometimes you need to still have the fairly easy walk through the base, and just to, to keep opponents on their toes. Yep, make, keep them so guessing. Right. It's not a bad thing. Um, just keep in mind that uh, try to, to make every type of base make them as hard as possible to triple. Mm -hmm. So that's the goal. It's the same um, idea as your clan cap castle compositions, right? Yeah, like, absolutely. It doesn't matter what the best quote unquote one is. It, you, you can't have all of them that way, no matter what, because people are they're just going to adjust to it, and it's going to be too easy. You got to have variety. Yeah, absolutely. Like, <clears throat> um, if ever a lot of clans still have a drag loon in their CC or just a lava hound. Well, if I know there's a lava hound in this uh, particular base, I mean. There's so many buildings touching, that's what I wanted to mention anyway. Uh, almost everything is touching. Valkyries go rampant in this base. Yes, absolutely. I mean, everywhere. it's crazy the value everywhere. they get. Right? Everywhere. Go, like, you, all you the big storages are touching. <laughs> I mean, even you, I don't even think you'd need wall breakers actually looking at it no. further, because you just 
jump. You just you ramp them in <laughs> and jump, and the and buildings are just going to suck everything right in, and that whole yeah. core of your base is done for. And the problem with that is, right, is it, there's only really four to five compartments your hogs need need to deal with on the outside, on the outskirts. That's <clears throat> that's not too much. No, and also all of the defenses are inside of the this base, for example. Um, use the your outer walls as a wall, um, basically to wall off defenses from the inside out. If you know what I mean. Yep. So if uh, if your troops are uh, path through the base, they end up uh, in this compartment. Uh, imagine a defense being here; it will just fire at them uh, from uh, from a different compartment, basically. Yep. So use your outside as an extra compartment is what I'm trying to say. Plus, um, since the witches got nerfed. Um, mortars don't really do much anymore. I mean, most clans already had them outside before, so oftentimes a mortar is even better used as a distraction for golems instead of an actual defense. It's yeah, it's sad absolutely. to say, but um, yeah. I don't think I've ever in the last while ever built a base with it less than at least a couple archer towers and a, a mortar or two, just yeah. just scattered around just in in certain spots, right? Because you if it. it Again, you're forcing your attacker to make decisions. If he wants to enter around that that side of the base, he has well, to has plan to... for the fact that the golem is going to wander there first. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, that's basically it. I think um, we need to move on towards uh, air defense. Yeah. I think uh, these two are covering, but at the same time, they're very close together. Uh, a shattered entry in this angle um, will get both them and the queen uh, with a jump somewhere uh, like for example over there that will likely even get these two teslas an expo the queen cc and the, the attacking queen will get that air defense so that's fairly risky so um what i'm trying to say is i think that this air defense needs to move somewhere else like over the scanner for example then again you need to move walls over to defend it um but right now it's a bit too vulnerable. Uh, same story goes for, for the other side. You can queen walk this section. Exactly that air fence. And uh, you can just walk past it. It's kind of tricky. I mean, for example, um, mm -mm. just a quick plan I would draw up, uh, draw up is, for example, start my queen over here. Uh, drop the healers like this. Funnel this area. And because the healers are over here, they will. The healers will uh, follow the queen up a bit first, and then move like this, past and past the air defense, and never even get into range. So, I know this is very tough. It's it's almost not doable, um, but in this case, I think it will hurt you too much. Uh, the healers will uh, be scot free <laughs> until the queen is right here, taking out this air defense. Then they'll step in well, towards the range. Here's and a crazy little. Here's a crazy little plan. You don't even, you just zap quake that one. You come yeah. in with a queen charge towards this one, pull the clan castle out, rage her up, and then split kill squad in from nine, jump over to Mr. And queen Chamber. <laughs> <laughs> or just whatever, even just loons after that point. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't that's know. Just, good, again, that's a good plan also. Yeah. Taking off top of your head. Little go, go -ho with, with healers. Yeah. That's, or go -valo that's with healers, sorry. <laughs> That would be crazy. Um, so anything else we need to cover about air defense? Um, the red bombs we covered a bit. Um... For the most part, I like the black bomb locations. Uh, doubled yep, up on you know the 9 o'clock and the 6 o'clock. Um, my only issue overall, again, it kind of stems just from the air defense placement. Is I mean, that right there. Uh, they're just too close. Um, yeah, it can get abused. And at the same time, there's something that's worth mentioning. This sweeper right now. It doesn't do much. It's it's sacrificial uh, once the air defenses go down. Yeah. So you want to find a new uh, home for that one. So as I know we talked about moving the Tesla over, but even if you like tucked it behind there. Yeah, that was that my initial be thought. But then again, as long as these defense uh, air defenses are close together, it won't do much for you. No. If this uh, air defense, however, is moved over towards this cannon, uh, I think this would be an okay position. Okay. Um, so yeah, we talked about the one red mine in the uh, queen chamber. We do not like it. Um, same kind of goes for the one, I mean, right here. I guess that's, yeah. that one's better. 
I would say. But then I, again, I, a lava hound, uh, someone will drop it over here, and it will go yeah. over. So I think this one has a bit of a bad uh, place. I think if anything, if you had it on the outside of the wall there, maybe, because that would give you a double pronged. Because I think, like, if you look at, I would picture someone dropping a lava hound probably from that corner. Or uh, he'd want to get that wizard tower in aggro. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, just far enough out on that corner, because then on top of it, you're going to also take out uh, funneling minions. Minions, yeah. That's yeah. a good one. Yep, very nice. Um, so, this any last comments? That no, it's not bad. bad. No, that one's good, actually. I yep. think so. Um, general rule of thumb with these things is um, if they're right in between two air defenses, like uh, like this one is, um, a lava hound, you're not going to drop it in th this area, basically. Because you don't know which you don't air know defense. which air defense is going to, so you're likely going to drop it over there, and then it'll it'll miss it. Same story goes when it's dropped over there. Yeah. So that that's an idea for you to uh, to place them. So I'm, one last thing I saw was yep. uh, the small bomb over there. Uh, move it out one more spot towards uh, the wall. Plus, hmm. uh, yeah, a golem would be over there. So I guess that would be nice. But the the small bomb needs to to move once. But I I I mean, looking at the other small bombs, you know, you, you get the concept. So I I suppose it's just badly placed. It's just a small mistake. Yep. And once again, guys, I've said this a lot. It not, doesn't necessarily have to be all your buildings, but I really feel you could be pushing your buildings a little further away from your walls in this base. Um, just specific spots, right? Like, to be honest, I'm pretty sure you could hold the button down with all three wall breakers and they'd get it before the bomb went off. I don't know. Maybe. No, you wouldn't no, get it. There's the no. one space. Yeah, that's one space. It's uh, That's a tricky one, but uh, the, the wall breaks will path like this. So. Uh, but yeah. either way, not even necessarily just for the bombs, you just want to make the wall breaker pathing a guess sometimes. You don't, you don't want them to feel they know exactly where the wall breakers are going to go. Um, because they have to drop them so far back, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> yes. So I think that should cover most. Yeah. Um, overall, uh, I, I like this base, but, um, you know, like we like we talked about, just one thing kind of makes the next fall, which is uh, the endless struggle of base building. But, uh, yeah, I think we can pretty much uh, wrap things up now. I think so, yeah. Uh, in essence, you need to, in this base, I just want to come back to the point uh, try to re reinvent your uh, compartment sizings and uh, the spread of uh, defenses like air defenses and giant bombs through the base, and that'll fix it. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, thanks for coming out, Kadek. It was a pleasure. You're welcome, man. Uh, that will conclude things uh, for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you guys bag that next tree star. Till then, we're out. <laughs>